Hi folks, Ron, field agronomist with Pioneer in Central Texas, out here at a cornfield. One of the questions I get a lot this time of year is, how's my corn pollinated? Let's go through a couple of things that have to do with pollination of corn and some of the key things that you might consider. One thing to think about is pollination typically lasts anywhere from say seven to 14 days. So it doesn't happen all at once. There is some variability depending on when the plants came up and that probably extends it on out say to 14 days. One other thing that you should consider is how many ovules on an ear are available to pollinate. You know, if you figure an average of 16 times 40, that's what, 540 potential kernels that could, uh, could occur on any given ear. Um, each plant produces about two to five million grains of pollen, so there's typically a lot of pollen available. Uh, most of the time that pollen release happens in the morning, typically around the 10 o'clock range when the dews have dried and then the anthers will open and release those pollen grains. So a question I get though is has my corn pollinated? Say for instance, maybe you were thinking about making a fungicide application and you were wanting to use a surfactant. One thing you need to be very careful of during the uh, reproductive period, especially during pollination or right prior to, is non-ionic surfactants in corn can cause arrested ear syndrome where you develop a plant without an ear. So it's very important to know whether or not you have pollinated your plants. So one trick that I use to determine that is I take an ear like this off a plant and I take my pocket knife very carefully, slit it along the edge like I've already done previously, and you open that husk up very carefully and you pull that ear out and you can see that uh, quite a few of the silks have dropped away from this ear but there's still a few attached. So this, this ear is not completely pollinated yet, but has started. How about another plant? Let's look at this one next to it and see how it's progressed. So again, took my pocket knife very carefully, slid along the edge of the, uh, of the uh, ear without too much damage. Notice there's a, a significant number of, of silks that have come loose. That means that th those ovules have received pollen and have pollinated, but there's still several attached. How about this plant? This was a little bit of a late emerger uh, found in the field. So again, I did the same thing. Uh, its tassel had not come out yet or it was just beginning. You'll notice that almost all of the silks are still attached to this ear. So, very little pollination has occurred on this particular plant. So again, real easy to determine whether or not uh, your corn's pollinated. Look at the silks that are attached or detached and that'll let you know whether or not you've had a successful pollination. I hope this helps. Thank you for your business. Have a great season. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.